Dear audiences, a lot of people have to leave their religious life for many different reasons. Many people left, and their hearts have fallen out of love and attachment to religious life. Nevertheless, there are people who had left, but they still regret, pity, and endure because they know that their hearts are still for the religious life and the community. They have their own suffering and cannot overcome it but no one knows. They didn't know whether it was a sign that God didn't choose them, or they were their obstacle that they must get rid of it, and continue their religious life. Today, we want to send you the hearty sharing of Sister Maria Bichtri from Hatim Province, a person who fell into a crisis, doubting about her own vocation, and had taken off the habit, and left the congregation because she couldn't get out of her own misery. Therefore God promptly helped and saved her from a lost life goal, in particular, how her story is? We would like to introduce you the story with the title, Leaving the Sisterhood. Leaving the congregation, I have served. That was my decision after further thought, even though I had made my first religious profession for several years. The congregation has loved me very much. However, I decided to go home and get married. The congregation gave me time to pray and rethink but after all I remained on my own decision. After the conversation, they accepted my request, and I explained clearly with them about my choice to leave then. In my childhood, I was always sexually abused. Therefore, I felt that I was falling into sexual temptation, and couldn't win the strong sexual desires and urges, I broke chastity vow, and commit sexual sin for several times. The congregation respected my decision. While I was preparing to leave, they reported that to the priest, who was my spiritual director. He wanted to ask my superior let me to go on retreat, and consider my vocation once again. However, the superior said that there had been no precedent. She doesn't want to continue her vocation so let her go. The spiritual director asked the congregation allow him to guide me at home retreat. They accepted and I decided to do so. On the first day of retreat, I shared with Father what I had gone through, its own consequences as well as my current situation that I was facing with. I still loved, and wanted to continue my journey for religious life, but I couldn't confront with my past memory. He replied, if it is true is the problem that you presented, and then it's go home and get married. But I'm not sure if your problem is that. His answer made me think over and over again. First day of retreat, the spiritual director asked me to write down about my father. My reaction at that time was no. I don't want to. It was such a strong reaction that I couldn't control it. He replied gently, do not run away from the truth, because Jesus once said, the truth will set you free. After struggling, I obeyed and wrote a letter to my father. The next day I sent that letter to the spiritual director. The eight pages of a handwritten letter was torn by myself before handling it to him. In this letter, I didn't hide my true feelings. What I hate about my father most, I wrote down all of it. The spiritual director wasn't startled before my behavior. He patiently put every pieces of papers into one and read them. After reading, he asked, what is the reason for your refusal? When I asked you to write a letter to your father, you immediately said no. I replied, because my father and I have similar personality. The spiritual director laughed and said, that's the problem. And then he continued to ask me to find out the reasons, why my father was behaving unfairly to my mom, and to the whole family. The second letter was out. Before writing the second letter, I tried to find the roots that made my father reacted in that way, and justify my father's unfair actions. I hated my father badly. But after finishing writing the first letter, I felt relieved, and began to feel like I would no longer have that feeling as I had before. The more I learn about the person, and the life of my father, the more I love him. I realized that I had blamed him too much. Especially, after listening to the explanation of the spiritual director about my father's behavior, I felt that I was an ungrateful daughter. The most ungrateful thing was not learning how to understand him. That's why there was such frustration and hatred. So the letter that explains my dad's strange behavior was written down by myself. 
the spiritual father asked me to write both letters into one with two separate parts. The first part expressed my feelings and thoughts about my dad. The second part of the letter was to justify the actions that made me upset, resent and hate. After that, I handed him a third letter to the spiritual director, he asked, do you still feel tempted about the sexual desire? I said, it's over, father. He said, your problem is not in sexuality but in hatred. It is the hatred that affected negatively your sexual life in particular and your personality in general. Father continued, do you want to reconcile with your father now? I asked again how can it be? He said, send this letter to your dad. After a moment of wondering, I nodded. The spiritual father decided to meet my dad and gave this letter to him. After his trip to my family, my father and I understood each other better and reconciled with each other. The spiritual father said that after reading the first part of the letter, my father burst out into tears like a baby. In my father's mind he thought that I loved him a lot for he loved me so. After reading the second part, my father's face became happier because he knew that I understood his pain. The spiritual father returned to the congregation and asked me, what is your decision now? I answered immediately, I continue to choose religious life. Because my sexual desires are gone. I no longer feel urging and demanding like before. Father smiled and said, you made the right decision. The congregation gladly accepted my wish to stay. My classmates came to congratulate me. My family is happier than ever. My father and I recognized our own mistakes. We love each other even more. After made my perpetual religious profession of vows, I felt my heart was full of happiness, especially remembering the time when God had saved me from a lost goal. I'm thankful to the spiritual director for helping me overcome the tragic misery that I had thought that was the truth. Misunderstanding had driven me to the verge of darkness and sadness for so long. It isn't only me who have much gratitude for Father, but also my congregation and especially my family. We thank him for his help and appreciate everything he did for us. I knew that spiritual director was also very happy when attending my perpetual religious profession of vows. Looking at his smile in calm and sincere way, I also felt his love for me. What I have learned from him is the patience and respect for vocations. I knew he had endured patiently my unusual behavior and joy, without blaming. He respected all my decisions, in the meanwhile he always remind me of the problems let me find my answers. When talking with him, I felt light and belief. I hadn't seen he condemn anyone before, but only finding ways to alleviate the behavior of those who have made themselves suffer. In his perspective, each human being is always a mystery, and it's good to discover every day.